Greetings. My name is Charles Blocky, Development Gift Officer at Canisius High School, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to another episode of Conversations with Canisius, the web series where we connect alumni from around the world with the classrooms on Delaware Avenue. Today, my guest is Frank Bernovich from the class of 1967. Frank is the president and chairman of the board of Boltex, an American manufacturer that specializes in custom forging and flange production. Frank and his wife, Kathy, have generously opened their home to the Canisius alumni of Houston for many wonderful gatherings. It's a pleasure to have you join us today. Frank, thanks so much. Uh, thank you. It's a pleasure being here, and uh, I hope I can be of help to you. So um, tell, tell us a little bit about how you found yourself in Houston, um, you know, Canisius High School, living in Buffalo, New York, uh, many years ago, and, and to where you are today. Well, I'll try to make it brief. Um, I, um, of course, I graduated from Canisius in 1967 and, and then went on to Canisius College and graduated in 71. Uh, and uh, at that time, uh, Buffalo was experiencing some severe economic hardships, high unemployment. And uh, I, while I had some uh, opportunities for work in that area, I decided to uh, I don't want to be dramatic, but I decided to choose the road less traveled, and I traveled. And uh, the, there were some opportunities here in the Houston area, and I decided to pursue those. And uh, by um, a variety of circumstances, I ended up in my uh, current position now. Um, what, uh, like I said, I've been here, I've been president of Boltex uh, since its inception, which is now going on to almost 32 years. And uh, what uh, uh, again, the, the the circumstances are a little bit too complicated, but uh, uh, like I said, it was just a choice. It was a choice on my part to try something different. Um, uh, as I said, one of the things that, uh, of course, is that uh, all choices have consequences, so that when you leave, uh, and so you the concept is always choose wisely, right? Uh, so when you leave, you leave certain things, you leave family, you feel, you leave friendships, and but uh, you start a new life. And uh, as it started out, it, uh, it certainly went well for me. And I've been very fortunate to, to have, uh, um, uh, to have uh, found a, a second home, if you will, uh, uh, in, in Houston. Uh, believe it or not, I still consider Buffalo my hometown. And there's a lot of affection that I have for it. I have a, for the people that I grew up with. Uh, certainly the the Canisius High School, which I hold near dear to my heart, and I always I always stress to everybody that uh, the the reason for some of my success or you know whatever it is is really due uh, primarily to the four great years that I had at uh, at Canisius High. Can you talk a little bit about um, what those four years meant for you and 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 how it prepared you to to you know not only you know be a, a, a member of, of, of society, a productive member of society, but also to, to be a, a leader and, and the head of a, of a corporation? Well, first of all, you're too kind. I mean, uh, we're, we're, we're not, when you call us a corporation, we do have some very nice facilities, but I consider U.S. Steel and, and IBM uh, major corporations where uh, we're a middle-sized company and uh, been very fortunate to have the success that we've had. I think what is uh, what uh, Canisius did for me um, uh, is that it provided uh, a certain kind of structure uh, and uh, a certain kind of discipline uh, that um, uh, is, I think, uh, was very, very critical to uh, what I do today. Uh, it is uh, the but the most important thing is somehow they made you feel in some manner, shape or form that I'm still trying to ascertain so many years after that is they made you feel special. Uh, they made you feel, uh, they made you feel that uh, you uh, were going to, uh, let's say that, uh, that, that you, that they made you feel special and that you had, and they, uh, and uh, they helped by uh, providing discipline, a broad curriculum, which is absolutely uh, critical to what I do. Uh, because I handle so many different functions, and uh, the Jesuit education was uh, was a primary factor, I think, to, like I said, to to my success today. You know, one of the one of the the <laughs> fundamental parts of of a Canisius education is the Ignatian formation. You know, Saint Ignatius of Loyola was the the founder of the Society of Jesus, and there are some 
some principles that uh, that every you know every Jesuit institution kind of try, tries to instill into their alums, uh, being men for others, um, you know, the pursuit of excellence, uh, the modest, the more. Can you t you know do, in your in your professional life and personal life, you know, what does it mean to have gone to a, an Ignatian high school, and, and how does that apply to your life today? Well, as I indicated, I think that, that uh, the, the high school itself, uh, the, the structure of the school, the structure of the curriculum, the discipline involved, uh, the, uh, the demands on, on uh, the demands in your time, the demands upon your skills, I think those are all the, the critical components uh, that, uh, you know, to be successful in school, uh, I think, uh, translated to being successful uh, in, in, in our, our everyday work life also. So I think those things, I think it's very, I think everything is all tied together. I think that, uh, again, I go back uh, to the, I go back to the curriculum, I go back to the um, uh, the discipline involved. Those are all those things that, you know, uh, those are all key factors in also being successful in business. I don't think you can separate the two. Those are all absolutely essential. Um, I hope that answers your question. No, it does. I know from, from our, our past meetings and you've talked about the importance of, of finding quality employees and, and the, the efforts that you've gone to training and to retaining and, and caring for, for your employees. Can you, can you talk a little bit about, you know, why, why as the, as the head of a company, you know, taking care of your employees and, and training them and making sure that, that, that they're at their best is essential? Well, I, I, I think one of the things we have to always remember, I mean, many of us, uh, many of us and uh, have been, have been blessed with certain privileges. Okay. And I feel one of those, okay. That I'm, I'm one of those. Okay. And I've been very, I've been very blessed and I've been very fortunate. Uh, and one of the things that I always try to remember is that I try to practice humility as best as I can. And uh, that practice humility is that it, it, it reminds us of the fact that, you know, the guy that you drive by in the morning that's, that's uh, sitting on the corner waiting for a donation, um, that could be us. Okay, really, I, I think about that. that. That could be us. In a flash of a moment, our lives could change. And uh, so uh, humility reminds us that we're just like that guy, and that translates to also the um, our, uh, the way we, ha we we try to treat our employees. Okay, that they're human beings, that they have their own problems the same way that we have, and that we need to uh, somehow promote them and uh, um, uh, care for them in a certain way. That makes their lives a little bit easier. That's uh, that's the way we've led our situ uh, we've had our situation here. Um. You know, Frank, I, I know that you've mentioned that your son, uh, Marco's with the company and, and you know, it's, it's great to have a uh, generation. I know you have grandchildren now, uh, but I, I'd like you to think about what it was like to be, you know, our students today uh, who are 16, 17, 18 years old and, and are, are, you know, trying to understand what they might want to do after Canisius High School. And maybe, you know, give them two or, you know, pieces of advice that you'd want to impart on them, you know, that, that you, that reflect your career? Well, you know, again, the first thing is, uh, or I think one of the first things that they have to consider is, again, this concept of choice, you know, that uh, every choice they make has a consequence. So they have to really be careful about what they do, where they go, what they say. Uh, and uh, so that's, uh, um, uh, that's uh, that's one of them. Uh, the other thing too is uh, you know in times like this uh, where it's so easy to be depressed uh, because of the environment that we're in. It's just remember that I come to work every day, you know, thinking that every day is going to be a better day, and uh, I think that's important. That optimism is very important in success. Okay, and then finally, like I said, I go back to this concept of uh, of, uh, of humility that. Uh, uh, we have to practice, uh, you know, to be humble sometimes, because, sometimes, most of the time, because we can never, we are never, uh, we will really never know what will happen in our lives. And uh, I think that's, um, th those are, are kind of fundamental factors of, I think, of what they should think about as they go through their lives. Uh, then, of course, there's other things like discipline and education and all the rest of it. But some basic, the basic standards, again, is like I said, is that, uh, is, is what I've what I've talked about, you know, making choices, uh, being uh, being humble in life, and uh, uh, and also being optimistic. 
Uh, and uh, uh, I think those are probably, they're broad general principles, but I think it's very important that people, uh, that people uh, follow those, those, uh, those, those precepts. You know, Frank, uh, we've known each other for a number of years and, uh, you know, with, with COVID and everything, we didn't get a chance or we haven't had a chance to see each other. It's, it's wonderful for you to take some time this afternoon and uh, share your experiences and your insight with our students. And I just want to thank you so much uh, for being a participant in our, our web series. Well, we thank you very much, and I hope I haven't been too verbose, and I hope I've hit the target sometimes. It's uh, very difficult, you know, to even at this stage in my life to, to give advice to people because there, are, there, have been ma there have been failures in mine, and we haven't talked about those, and I thank you for not asking me about those. So, <laughs> but uh, again, I thank you. It's been, it's been a pleasure, and I hope to see you soon. Uh, I'm sure this will be over very, very quickly, and when I'm saying very quickly, uh, we anticipate um, uh, somewhat uh, next, sometime next year. Uh, and uh, so hopefully we'll see us then. Frank, thank you so much.